Ah yes, my brain, let's film video. My voice, still sick. My cough, still sick. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm gonna apologize right now if it points it sounds like I'm barking at you. I'm pretty sure I was on the phone with someone earlier today where I heard my own voice in my head because you know, I got some stuffed up ears going so you get to do that weird, really cool thing where you hear yourself. And it was just like, ooh, ooh, that sounds bad. All right, so <coughs> yeah. Anyway, I keep taking the medicine. We get better day by day. Things change day by day. It's a, it's a, it's a long road if, if uh, watching my daughter means anything. So I've just, I've got some stuff. I, I know I need to do like a plan with me, but I need to figure out what I'm planning in. So uh, we've talked about, I am meandering astray from my A6 rings, from rings and discs. I, you know, I've talked about, I've got a whole video somewhere before this about how I just really what I need and what I want has changed and it's hard. I'm having, I'm having, my brain is having a hard time with the adjustment because I'm so used to planning being the thing. Like let's sit down and let's plan. So I've got two planners here in front of me. I have my pocket TN in an eternal leather goods cover, which I love. This is a pocket wide because it fits, it fits the Moleskine pocket daily. And then I have another book in here from an Etsy shop. Uh, bookshelf studio so I purchased this off of Etsy it looks like they probably have their own website as well you can customize the paperweight so I believe I customized to the max which I think is like 32 pounds so it is a thicker paper which I really like because some of the pens I use don't react so well with the thinness of the moleskine paper or the Tomoe River paper you know, kind of that wafer thinness. So I do like that I have a notebook that is a thicker paper. Um, I can see myself using this two ways, either with multiple books and not a daily, but I'm gonna show you how I'm using the daily because today I really gravitated towards this in a way that I just, I keep coming back to and that makes sense to me. And I think something, you know, that we've talked about before is really how I tried Pocket Plus and that didn't really work for me and how I landed on on like an A6 size, which this is an A6 size and it is very close. Like it's very, very close to the pocket plus. And in reality, the TN pocket size is a pocket plus size. It is not the same as pocket rings. It is pocket plus size for rings, which, which is fine. I'm not sure why there is a difference in the sizing, but that's just, that is, something I noticed, I noticed straight away. So I've got this guy going. I don't have a cover for my common planner. I did get, fun fact, <clears throat> I did get the cloth and paper HP mini. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset with cloth and paper right now. I've got some questions. So I have their covers in other sizes. I've had an HP mini that I sold in the past and it's supposed to be great for the B6. I used my Galen Leather Co. Leather Balm because this felt really rough and dry and my other one did not. My other one I had actually leather balmed and I've, I've used this balm on other leathers. It works beautifully. It doesn't interfere with the coloration or anything like that. It doesn't stain. I've never had a bad experience with it. I absolutely love it. I believe Galen Leather Co. is out of Turkey and I, I I love their products. I don't own any of their, their leathers. I got their balm because it was just, it, it was highly recommended when I was looking for, for a conditioner. It's supposed to, so restore, renew, protect, right? Clean, dry, test a small amount. Always, always test in an area that you're not gonna, you're not gonna worry about for patch testing just to make sure it's not going to do something weird with your leather. Start with a small amount, apply by hand. I did, I massaged it in. The leather will absorb the balm immediately and return to their natural shade within 24 hours. Repeat as necessary to protect. So when I've done this before on these, I've never had a problem. I have never, 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 never had a problem using a balm or a conditioner. I know a balm might be different than a conditioner and I keep calling it a conditioner. 
with cloth and paper until this time. It is not sinking into this leather at all. It's like sitting on top. I'm gonna have to take like a chamois to it and I'm probably gonna have to take some saddle soap to it and clean it off, which is really odd. Like I pick it up and I can feel it. It's, it's just like it's sitting on top. Now it does feel soft. It does feel much, the leather, okay. My brain's moving too fast. The leather itself does feel much softer and it's much shinier. So the balm does restore a luster to a leather. So if a leather starts looking worn, the balm I've found helps with that. Now it says it takes like 24 hours. So I'm gonna let it sit and maybe it will work. But I mean, it was so dry feeling and scratchy feeling to me that I was really, really put off by it. So I just wanted to try the balm and see, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now now I've got like the balm all over my hands again because I touched it, which is weird and it shouldn't be happening. Now, in contrast to that, I use the balm on here and it, it didn't change the color, the olive color of the Eternal Leather Goods leather, but it's like it refreshed it. Like it just, it brought some beautiful luster. I can see the stretch marks. It just like it, it enhanced the leather and it's not sticky. It just feels soft. It feels buttery. Like this leather, which was not dry. I wouldn't have called this dry by any stretch of the imagination. I just, I was doing it. I was like, I'm gonna give it a try and see. I literally just, you know, went over it. This drank it in very nicely. Like I am not disappointed at all by how it behaved with this leather. I don't, I honestly don't know what's going on with the cloth and paper leather. And I say that and let's just look, they didn't go vegan on me, did they? I just bought it. So it's not like it's an old run. I'm gonna shop all. Leather platter. I mean, their platters are leather. Their build is leather. So the agenda covers small quilted leather. Let's just see the description. Yeah, genuine cowhide. I, maybe it's, maybe they, maybe whatever this batch is, is treated with something. Maybe it's already treated with something that's acting like a protectant and is stopping, is stopping that balm from, from sinking in. I'm just trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because again, it was so dry and to, for me, I like leather to be, like pebble, pebble doesn't necessarily give it a rough texture. I like texture. I don't like roughness, right? So like this is, this is beautifully soft and I don't, I don't know. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, like this feels good. Like I did the strap too. The strap actually feels really nice. And some, a way, a way to describe it in my brain is like, you can feel the pebble texture. This is super pebbly but it's almost like it smooths the edges. So the edges of the pebbles can be rough until like a leather is worn. And it like the balm just smooths that down so that when you touch it, it's a much more pleasant tactile experience. Anyway, I've way digressed, but that's kind of where I'm coming from on it is I just thought it was really odd that the balm isn't sinking into it. And this isn't something I do with my stuff all the time. so. I've got this guy out. You guys have seen it. Um, the dots are really too big for, for use in the calendar section. I kind of intended to use these pages as like an inbox or just something pretty, but I mostly I just so say my way on past them. Oh man. Okay, so I've been filling everything out and this size actually works really nicely for me. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by it. Would I buy a cover for this? I don't think so. 
because I keep returning to the pocket, because I keep trying to come back to this guy. So we're gonna get into that in a, in a whole hot minute here. But, yeah, so this is, this is how it's working. I don't mind it, the size again is perfect. I much prefer B6 over A5. So like if somebody were like, well, what size would you go with? I, I would go with this. So like things I've got going on are, are already in here. I have an equipment I have to move. I had to go through and also sort out my, P, my, my PTO. I had somehow gotten some wrong Z's on it. So some things that we had talked about is kind of a planning full circle where I need more of a notebook. Like I need a place for all the date, date stuff and the important stuff and the lists and you know, to keep my brain straight. But really what I actually need is, is the place to do the content creating. And I did tip this in with some washi. Actually feel pretty dang proud of myself for it. Not a huge fan of tip-ins and I've got some ideas. So something I'm working on the forest for the trees I was really thinking about where I feel like a lot of my problems are. I look at it as just some massive general problem and then I kind of, you know, I miss, I just completely said that wrong. I tend to get stuck on the little issues and miss the big picture. Like what is the big picture? What is it that we really want to accomplish versus what is the minutia that we're getting stuck on? So I'm starting to build that out again. I've talked about that in, in the past. I think that's kind of a topic that comes up across many channels. So, and then what's causing the inflammation is something that I've kind of come back to. I like this, like this could very easily be a catch-all planner. It'll be interesting to see what the half year looks like. And that's part of the reason why I don't really want to invest in a cover like this because I don't know if like B6, if I would need a B6 wide, I would need a B6 wide for something like this. And I do like with the strings, I prefer the TN because of the versatility, I can shove a book in it, but I can also have smaller books if I so choose with this particular size. So yeah, and then the half year would obviously be about half the size-ish. I say ish because you still, I think you still have a lot of the front pages. But the question would become, I don't know what size cover I would need, all of that other fun stuff. And I do, I do really like this. I forget where I got this. I think I got this off of an Instagram. It was just a picture I think I saved because I thought it was so beautiful and it matched the cover so nicely that that's just what I, I stuck on the top. So I am working with this. And I do have my Moleskine Large monthly in my planner bag, but I think I'm gonna pull that out. I do have the pocket monthly. This actually gives way more space than I need, which props props to Moleskine. I mean, they are really tr out there trying to give a planner everything they need in one space. So I love the idea of these lists and all of this good stuff, but this has just got too unwieldy. I did remove the 2024 stuff and like the goal stuff and a lot of the unnecessary stuff. So they've got it with a month on two pages and then you get two pages in between so that you can do bills and all that other whatnot fun stuff. And then you've got, you know, it's like that all the way through. And then you've got this massive section and I'm gonna call it massive because this, I mean, it's not quite a book on its own, but it could be a book on its own for like notes or whatever you want to write down. And I did pull out as well the pocket just to to free up some space. But realistically, all I would want is the month on two pages without all of the extra stuff. And I think that if that's something I stick with next year, maybe that's something I will buy separately, not from Moleskine, but from a different vendor. If I were just using this solely as my planner, which honestly I think I could make work really easily, then it would be fabulous on its own. But because I want to use other notebooks with it, this just doesn't work. It's the only other thing that can fit in here. If I have both, it becomes very, very large. And I'm just, yeah, we're just, we're gonna call it for now as opposed to setting up something completely new. Again, in here in my pocket, I have this guy. I've got my autoimmune stuff versus questions that I'm going with. The only thing about the TN is that with the Moleskine Daily, 
This does not sit down. I just need to write something down. Is nicely. That said, I don't pull into this quite as much as as I do other things. So it's not like I'm constantly in it. And if I need to slide it out of the string, I will slide it out of the string. Absolutely fine with me. I really like this. I gravitate towards it. I want to pull it open. I want to use it. I absolutely love the deco. I do want to put, like, I do want to use other things in it. Like I want to use these, like I want to use one of my Ollie clips or cloth and paper clips or other brand clips, I think <coughs> would be nice. You know, I've got like this guy as a bookmark that I really love. I've got this guy from White Stag that I really love. I'm just not sure where to put them and how to make them all fit. So yeah, I know, and you wanna make friends with my pen. Okay, so here's here's kind of where we are. So that's that's for my channel, so you guys feel free to Feel free to email me. I feel bad because I, I actually did have have someone offer for like a, like a, hey, we'll send you some free product, not in the planner sphere, but for something else. And I was really, really interested, but I kind of had this moment of, I don't know if I'm there yet in wanting to, wanting to get something for free that I may not entirely love. Because I would feel really, really crappy if like if a shop sent me something and I didn't absolutely love it. And then I'm like, I don't absolutely love it. And it, for any of you who've been here long enough, you know how sometimes I will say I don't absolutely love something and then I'll fall in love with it. Like later, Port Portland Leather, Portland Leather Goods knows this because I, I had that happen with, their, with one of their bags where something didn't work for me, but something else I didn't expect to work for me like really worked for me and I absolutely loved. So yeah, it's a whole thing. So I don't put my personal data in there. I really do need to put like, I need to do some tracking in here. You know, fun TMI thing. Like tracking my cycle doesn't really work because my cycle is really, really, really jacked up. And I don't know if it's the birth control and I don't know if it's me. And that's a question I'm working on with my doctor at this point because I don't really have a normal, any, any semblance of a normal cycle anymore at this point. So, like it's a whole thing so I don't track that but like paydays and things like that the week numbers are in here if you like week numbers that is fabulous I know some people really do I don't I just I don't think of my weeks that way but I intend to use this and I just I never come back to use it so yeah and I didn't start using this as you guys know until March so I just shoved a sticky on here for some tracking I was doing in March. I need to come up with a better way to track the YouTube schedule, which you guys will see in a second because I was working on it. I should put together my daughter's Easter basket. Easter is one of her favorite holidays. So that is a whole huge thing. We did decorate eggs over the weekend, which was super fun. And from super fun, I mean, you know, me trying not to have a brain aneurysm over whether or not it was gonna make a mess. And you know, some of that stuff too, like look, one of the experiment things we did, God, like, why is it so difficult? Why? Someone explain to me why it's so difficult. Like there's no way my five-year-old could have done it on her own because I as a 41-year-old woman could barely do it on my own. I suppose, I suppose that's the whole point of fun. And oh look, I'm having my allergic reaction again. I've gone weeks without this and now it's cropping back up. And I don't know what I touch different, so I, Okay, so it's probably because, so I, with my illness, they put me on some prednisone. And tell me you have something autoimmune going on without telling me you have something autoimmune going on. Is It did not help with the illness that I have. It helped with some other things I'm experiencing. And now that I've been off of it for two days, I literally feel like someone has taken a baseball bat to my shoulders. I'm having a hard time sitting up straight. I am in pain. But because I have been in pain so chronically for so long, like it's not the kind of pain where I'm gonna double over bawling and crying and need to go to the emergency room. It's just literally like where my body and brain are just like, yep, nope, we're out, we can't do this. And I think a part of that is influencing the brain fog, which is probably influencing some of the hormonal stuff. 
And I just, I cannot wait for my appointment with rheumatology because I'm gonna go in there guns blazing and be like, look, I took XYZ and I had energy. I didn't feel by the end of my work day, like I needed to just crawl into bed. Like I've been going through this for years and we're just gonna tangent real quick. So when my, do when my daughter was a toddler, like I was looking back and I'm like, I feel like there's this clear line where she started to get more mobile and I feel like I was on the floor with her all the time. I was playing with her all the time. Like I was constantly engaged and it's just like been this decline over the last several years where it's like, I feel like I can't get off the couch. You know, and every, a lot of times when you're a woman and you start expressing this stuff, what you hear is, oh, welcome to being a parent, welcome to being a mom, this, that, or the other thing. It's like, no, you don't understand. I used to work out seven days a week and I would get up at, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, and I would go until 11 o'clock at night, or, you know, on like, the nights my husband would have things like, because he's, he's in a bowling league, like, I would stay up and I would do things for me, and the fact that I can barely get out of bed, it's a lot, it's, it, it, it's a lot, and clearly something's going on and I clearly need help, and my weight is a problem, but if I'm in pain and I don't have energy, it's really hard to exercise. And I know that a lot of times, we go, oh, just exercise because it'll help. But people don't understand when you say, no, it doesn't help. Like literally it just existing makes it worse. You know, so just, yeah, real honest discussions. Wow, I got really vulnerable really quick. All right. So I've just been using this. Everything fits. As long as I don't get too crazy, I think I will be just fine on the one page, which is odd because you all know how much I complain about it. But here's the thing, we're simplifying how we plan and I'm going to stop planning everything. So with the stuff in here, we're gonna work on some plan, plan with me's. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. I also feel like I've been so like you won't see it in here because obviously I have some, ha, blah, 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 I just started using this at the end of March, but like I have, I have been off of work so much because I've been sick or my kid's been sick, or my husband's been sick. Like this, the end of last year, beginning of this year have just been awful in terms of illness. <coughs> you just need to get back, get back to it. And then you've got 2024 and then it goes into all of these global holidays and these extra pages, which I really just took as a moment to be able to put in deco that I wasn't sure how else I was gonna use. This is a favorite picture of mine that I took of my former office, which is now my daughter's room. I used to collect Vogue magazines. Let me tell you when I let those go, when I had to, had to consolidate my space. I used to have multiple tall bookshelves. I now have, uh, Rugs. So this is a Billy from Ikea. I still have that. It is full. And then I've got a bookshelf that my grandfather made forever ago that is shorter and wider. But yeah, I've really consolidated. And you can see here the moleskines. So those moleskines take up an entire shelf and then some. And then I have other, other notebooks that take up half of another shelf in there. So yeah, so, so there's evidence of my moleskine love. Look, there's one lone white one in there. I don't know. That's a whole other creative discussion of, to do creative writing, I must be in a black moleskin large. But yeah, there's photographic evidence of, of my love of moleskin. So I haven't really done anything with these goals pages, goals, big plans, whatnot. And then I'm just using sort of the pages that obviously I missed because I wasn't using this as the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year as test pages for things that I think are cute or pretty. I kind of like it. I mean, sometimes I just like the deco stuff. And then for April, I'm trying to let go of shopping. So I have like a, a no buy tracker. I decided I was going to do a page for the YouTube post. And I just put a post that I really liked on it. So that I can use, you know, these pages for kind of whatever. And then start rolling into, you know, this, this month. So this is kind of what I have going on is me just playing with things. I really liked how I laid this out in terms of like planning. I guess that's so beautiful. So there's lots of thoughts, lots of things. I don't 
use it every day, clearly. I guess, yeah, this was when I was sick and then like down to today. And I've decided I'm gonna go back and use it as a planner. I still wanna use it <coughs> for writing stuff down on self-discovery, but it's weird to say and I talked about it when I found when I found this guy, you know, and how madly inspired I was by a number of the channels that I have hit on, like what was it my Moxie plans, my Moxie dreams. I love her channel, and I cannot, and for some reason, why? Why? I just show show me more on the list. My Moxie dreams on YouTube. Like I just loved watching her videos with this. I like it. I really, I really like it. I like the size. I like the compactness. I enjoy it. It works for me. Like what is not to love about this? So I have a feeling as I look at the B6 that I'm probably gonna vacillate between the B6 and this guy for a hot minute until I figure out which one I actually like more even though I think I already know I really like, I really like this. And then I'm going to throw a wrench into it here at some point in the future with the bigger guy. That I need to take a break from for a moment. So I'm probably going to throw a wrench into it with these guys. This guy is going to stay in my planner bag for right now. Maybe it's going to be in an integrated system in the future. And then I've got the large size 2023, which I put just a pretty in and I haven't really done anything. I didn't do any surgery to this one. I haven't removed anything. I haven't taken anything out. So it's got 2024, which I know a lot of people who do, who do use this kind of thing for reference and we'll put birth dates and things like that down. So I, I, I'm actually not mad about that. And maybe this could be like some strategic future planning if you were going to do some strategic future planning of things you want to do. So for example, I'll take YouTube, like maybe I want to do dedicated themes for months where I'm like, I want to focus on X, Y, and Z and do that. And that is great. And we can do that. You know, what I like about these pages, you could do trackers I and mean, you can do the same thing here. You could print out on sticker paper, you could print out just like monthly trackers if you do monthly trackers and just stick them in here. Like sky, sky is the limit. So then I started just marking stuff, just marking stuff off. And again, it's got the two pages in between. So it's March. And then here's this, which again, I like the size. It's nice and narrow. It's got a lot of pages at the back, so you can do a lot of reference stuff. And I did not remove the pocket, but that that's what this looks like. And I am just going to set this aside for now. Because again, we're getting a little, a little far afield and a little complicated, but uh, yeah, so I keep coming back to this. Just gonna show you a little side view. There you go. But uh, I'm gonna pop off of here again. I don't know. I gotta figure out how to do plan with me's where I don't plan on the fly so I can actually do a plan with me. Maybe, maybe, maybe my next video will be some decoration. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll pre-plan deco pages. I don't know. It's a journey? All right. As always, much love to you and yours, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.